Conifers are a very important group of plants. They make up something like 40% of the world's forest cover. They're part of that green lungs that actually sort of help to produce the air we breathe. But they're actually a very small group of plants, very much threatened, and many of them are endangered and you know, require our conservation and require our help if they're going to survive. And that's why places like Bedgebury are so important. They are a sort of microcosm of that fantastic world of conifers all on one site where you can tell stories and get people enthused and in contact with these, this wonderful group of plants. Bedgebury is home to lots of native plants and animals uh, and other broadleaf trees from all over the world as well, but predominantly focusing on conifers, conifer conservation and promoting the importance of conifers to the general public. We actually don't realise or know really what we do have out there. We've only identified a small proportion of all the living organisms on the planet. And new plants, new animals are always being discovered. And I think plant hunting and the widest sense of going out, looking at what there is there, how it interacts, how things you know, grow in certain situations, why they're important to local communities, why is it this particular plant related to that particular animal, Without that knowledge and going out and just doing this sort of plant hunting role, you don't really know how the world works. So plant hunting is very important to actually get know what we've got out there, what we need to conserve, what we need to collect and bring back and store in places like this, keeping examples of things that you know, we, we could lose. And we're probably losing things. We don't even know that we've lost them yet. And that's the big, the, the sad thing. I think historically the resources available from um, when you talk about some of the British explorers and going out plant hunting, they had a massive uh, resource to help them out, porters, photographers, sketch artists um, and the, art, the collector was purely focused on that. Nowadays with resources being stretched we have to be sort of jack of all trades. We record all the locations of the trees using GPS, we collect herbarium specimens which is basically a press part of the plant so if people want to do um, DNA analysis of the plants they've got that they don't have to keep going back to the natural populations and that's where Bedgebury is really important for long-term conservation of plants. We are a, a tree zoo so to speak so people can come to places like here to get material rather than having to always go to, to the natural populations. It's very much a living scientific collection and it's actively used by scientists from all sorts of different walks of science. A particular one was the search for Taxol, the compound which ended up becoming the drug, drug Tamoxifen, which was an anti-cancer drug. Uh, that's found in yew trees generally, but when researchers first started looking at it, they didn't know which yew trees. Now, you could spend your life going all over the world to find those yew trees, but because they are all here at Bedgebury, the scientists could come here, take samples, and then go away with them. So they could just focus on one area rather than scattering all across the globe. We've been collecting conifers and trees all over the world um, on every single continent, you know, from the, collecting the giant redwoods um, of California through to some rare and unusual alpine conifers in Tasmania. And we've got probably the rarest thing we've got is the only seed grown plants of Xanthosoparis vietnamensis, the Vietnamese golden cypress. The project in Vietnam in particular was engaging local farmers to care for trees that were important to them in past generations as sources of wood for things like coffins. Uh, but because of deforestation, there are very few of this particular species. They grow up on high ridges and they're not regenerating. What was quite important from that was working with the guys, trying to figure out why these things weren't regenerating or why uh, there was a problem with that particular species. And what came out of that was seed, for the first time, brought into the UK, grown here at Bedgebury, and within our nursery, we now have the world's first seedlings of that plant grown in conservation. Bedgebury is, is home to one of the most diverse and complete collections of conifers anywhere. Conifers are a very important group of plants. They make up something like 40% of the world's forest cover. And because they're so sort of underlooked at, 
people take them a bit for granted. You think about your Leyland Cypress, you think about the Christmas tree that drops its needles. A lot of people base their whole kind of experience on those two. Hopefully what we can get from people from when they come here is try and get the message that conifers are endangered species um, from around the world. Conifers as ecosystems are very important. Come here with an open mind and also just tend, take time to look around, up, down and go up close and get personal. Hug, touch, feel, smell. Actually go up and really take time to look at these trees because they're not all deep green conifers. They're not that boring thing that a lot of people think they are. You just go in there and enjoy them. Actually take that close look at them and realise just how much beauty you can find even in a small piece of foliage.